Hi friends, Artzerk here, and I'd like to provide an example of what is just pure toxic FE, or what you might also call comet cancer. So let's look at this comment I got here, and it and it's 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 good comet cancer in that it allows me to to cover a lot of things here. TR refuses to sit through a 45 minute discussion on principle. No, right off the bat, wrong. I explained why I didn't want to watch it because it would make me mad. That's not on principle. Spent hours long live stream and surrounding videos speaking about egregious acts discussed there. I'm talking about the day's activities as I always do. You will note that in between talking about rational typology, I actually am a real typologist, right? So in between talking about how ridiculous these people are, I've had two typing sessions a video on why Jung got TI wrong, a video on TI and TE labels being backwards. I've got, this is all in the last couple of days, right? I've got thousands and thousands of videos. Yes, this particular wrongness is occupying my attention now. That's true at the moment. But, it, you know, I, I just finished a typing session, an actual typing session of actually typing somebody, right? Which you can watch and see, okay? Despite what you claim, Eric, your FI is working on overtime. I'm not claiming my FI is not involved here. I've never made that claim. It's not a, an interesting calculus that makes me determine whether something is correct or not. But obviously, I'm motivated by my FI like anybody is. In other words, I have feelings and I have an ego and what's important to me is important to me and stuff like that. That doesn't make me wrong. That makes me human. Um... That unprocessed, unfiltered emotion that lingers in the background. Well, it's not unprocessed or unfiltered. I, well, maybe it's unfiltered. I do have emotion in the background, of course. I, emotion's not bad, right? There's nothing wrong with having feelings and, and having interests and caring about yourself and trying to treat yourself well and love yourself and defend yourself when you're under attack. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Whether or not a person is right or wrong is not determined by their motivations, okay? Your rational mind is above these silly, tired claims, and so feelings get past the unconscious, and you move on entirely or partially unaware of the stirrings within. I mean, I agree I'm tired of, of people making silly claims. Um, but that's not unconscious. I'm well aware of the fact that I don't like that. That's, that's one of the most conscious aspects of my FI that, that exists. I am FI polar. That's not going to change, okay? There's nothing wrong with me for being FI polar. Um, we see videos that follow a story that show your emotions for you escaping through the gaps of your repression. I'm not repressing my emotions. I'm FI polar. We see a person that will burst into tears from a sad film. I burst into tears from stuff all the time. Cartoons, films, everything. Doesn't even have to be sad. It could just be like a an underdog coming back. I'm very weepy. I'm very okay with my emotions. I'm very comfortable with them. Because for me, they're an object of, that I experience. And like right now, I'm kind of irritated by this comment. I, you have emotionally engaged me. That doesn't make me wrong. Again, it makes me human. Okay? I'm not repressing my emotions. I'm letting them all out. You're getting to receive them right now. Your ego is satiated by your arguably great ability to reason and has afforded a lot of confidence for it. But the confidence makes you arrogant, blurred to the truth. You become overly reliant on heuristics. No, I don't become overly reliant on heuristics. I presented a few heuristics in this conversation because I thought it would be a good way of transliterating. In fact, quite to the contrary, I don't use heuristics. I parse everything down myself. Sometimes too much. Like, sometimes you need to trust that other people who are experts on things have things right, but... I, I'll check myself and verify it myself every time. I'll parse it all out the logic myself. So that's absolutely false. Um, acquired knowledge over experiential experimental ideas. Okay, that's insane. In other words, you're ignoring the fact that there's a process here, right? Like, I've done a lot of ideation and tested it through countless typing sessions. That's why it started to resolve into clarity. I mean, it's like, how disingenuous could this comment possibly be, right? It's it's the most, it's the biggest lie in history. 
this comet. It, everything about it is a lie. I'm not sure why it's not showing the part. Uh, oh. All right, so I become overly reliant on heuristics, acquired knowledge over experimental ideas, and in doing so, you seal yourself to a certain dogma. I am not sealed to any dogma. And note, there's no justification for this. One, he doesn't he doesn't point to an example of me overusing a heuristic. He doesn't point to an example of me uh, prioritizing acquired knowledge when a new idea ought to be applied. If, of course, these good ideas that I've had, I've tested them in actual experimentation, not just experimental ideas. And I am not sealed into a dogma. If I were, then I'd be unable to be corrected about things. But INTPs continue to correct me about things. They tend to point out when things are wrong. When uh, an ISTP came in and points out, uh, actually, Eric, you've got the legality of this thing wrong. I'm happy to learn. I'm happy to grow. But the reality is this. Over time, if you do that consistently, you get less and less wrong. Just how it works. You know, if you apply this standard consistently, because you're FI polar, you're, you have a disinterested calculus of the basic tool function. It's your operational frame. Well, I mean, that's just how it goes, right? So, um, you become a relic, and that cripples your growth on this platform. Well, that's very colorful colorful language. There, there's nothing, you cannot point to anything that's surpassed what I'm saying about cognitive functions while I'm stuck in my old view that may, renders me a relic. If you could point to something that was actually new and preferable, then you would establish what that is. As a matter of fact, this is at the very edge of the curve regarding cognitive functions. There is, I am not stuck in something no, old, I am redefining the paradigm. Um, I hope you can see the pattern and use these, these videos. Read, get some professional psychotherapy, my man. So what's wrong with me? To see the trends of what I'm at, I know what I'm feeling. I'm feeling mad. I feel some bitterness, sure. I feel happy most of the time. I feel joyful. I feel, I feel incredibly free and liberated. And I also feel frustrated. I feel, you know, I have the, the normal array of feelings that everybody has. I'm not unaware of them. I don't, I don't, I'm not, I have the relationship with my feelings that an FI polar person does have. They do run beneath what's happening here, right? And they're also not determining my decision making about correctness. Those are different things. The mood swings, the rants, the flights of fancy, the bitterment. Why, why are you judging me? I'm doing what I want to do. Why do you need to tell me that I'm not doing the right thing? What have I done that's wrong? Nothing. You're just trying to say that there's something fundamentally wrong with me, that I'm not well, right? I mean, this is just cancerous, toxic, bullshit FE attack at its absolute most. To think that I'm not happy now because I'm mad a little bit is insane. That's not how I roll. I'm I'm probably the happiest person I know, to be perfectly honest. Um, and part of why I'm so happy is because I'm free. I'm rolling with my yes. I'm I'm free to to be mad at you. I'm free to yell at you. I'm free to say this is completely fucking bullshit. And anybody else who's who's reading and following along agrees with me. Who's smart or decent? Okay. And to add, the man from Rational Typology was playing defense, baiting you to get caught in your own words with meek responses given, probably to be analyzed post hoc. He's very intelligent and introspective. Well, I mean, he's not very intelligent because if you were trying to bait me, he failed utterly. Um, his own failure to answer questions actually means something. It's not just him being meek responses, right? In other words, by naming yourself rational typology, you're claiming that you have a rational understanding of typology, which obligates you then to provide it when asked, right? Otherwise, you're just blowing smoke out your ass. He's not very intelligent. He may be introspective. He may be surprisingly combative. He is not intelligent, though. Let's not make any mistakes about that. I had a conversation with the man. He doesn't understand basic concepts. From what I've gathered, he's committed to weeding out inherent personal bias from all sides and finding truths that reflect reality from his point of view. 
His arrogance, however, also gets the best of him. My arrogance isn't getting the best of me. It's making you not like me, maybe, okay? But, and, and it's causing you to attack me in this fashion to basically say there's something wrong with me that I need therapy because my emotions are on my sleeve. That's just how I roll. If you can point to, in some regard, some way in which my life is a disaster or bad, in which I'm obviously not performing well according to a health matrix or some sort, like, in other words, well, obviously you're not well, Eric, because you're stealing things a lot. Or obviously you're not well, Eric, because there's a lot of fighting and yelling and screaming at your house with your family members. Or obviously you're not well, Eric, because um, every time it's time to go to work, you're, you're too drunk to go to work. You know, real things that are wrong with somebody rather than simply you don't like me and try to convince me that my ontology is bad. This is how I am. I'm happy. I'm mad. I'm fun. I'm excited. I'm bitter sometimes. I'm not unaware of those things. I'm a human being. I don't claim to be enlightened or free from emotions. I claim that when I'm making argumentation regarding things that are objective matters that require an intellectual approach, that my feelings don't come into play with my calculations about whether something is correct or not. And they don't. And that's all there is to it. This is what comet cancer looks like. This is what FE toxicity looks like. This individual attempting his very best to convince me there's something wrong with me because I get mad at other people's bullshit. Sorry, bro. Go fuck yourself.